Well, <clears throat> I like to wait for less than one minute before I start with the content of the show because some other shows wait for 5, 10, 15 minutes to give their audience uh, sometimes some time to actually, if they are driving or if they are cooking or they need to stop what they're doing to in order to actually tune in and pay attention to the content. In this case, because these episodes are between 5 and 10 minutes, I like to wait for less than one minute and that said i am going live in five four three two and one what is, what is going on my name is ben, ben and, and welcome to another episode, episode of my daily vlog where i strive to inspire you to achieve your goals and therefore your dreams how are you happy sunday i hope you had an excellent weekend and I wish you to have an excellent week coming up. And tonight I am going to read you one of the last segments of chapter 15, which is called uh, which is called Other Significant Investments. And uh, this segment is one of the last two, two segments of this chapter. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to split it in two parts because it's a little long and uh, so otherwise I'm reading for too long and it's like, you know, it doesn't make too much sense to me at least. So the first part reads, the title is The Love of Your Life versus The Love of Your Life. You have the love of your life and the love of your life. Both of them could be very different from each other. I said could because sometimes these are the same thing or in this case the same person let me explain you have the love of your life which is the person who represents your soul soulmate the person you have been waiting all your life for or you simply met early on and know with 100% certainty that he or she will be the next will be next to you until your last breath Please, you think you know, because he or she may die sooner or leave you for another reasons. But at least you know, you feel it. And then you have the love of your life. The person who repre represents love in your life at that particular moment of your lifetime. You may even spend the rest of your life with that person because he or she currently occupies that space in your heart. Okay, so basically, I'll read, I'll read you part two, but basic, basically what I'm saying there is like uh, the love of your life. Uh, there, are, In my opinion, there are two definitions, the love of your life and the love of your life. The love of your life, like I said, there is like that person who is your soulmate and uh, who you think is going to be with you for the rest of your life, the person who understands you the most, you know, just, just your soulmate, basically. And the love of your life, the person who represents the love in your life. For example, if this is your fourth marriage, let's say, and uh, you have a couple and you love the couple, but you know, deeply inside that he or she is not the love of your life she's somebody who you love and you know you both have children and now you know is somebody who you love so much but it's not necessarily at least you know internally not necessarily the love of your life i think that it is a, a difference between the two even though the name is the, is the same but uh, the interpretation from whoever listens to the phrase love of your life most of them think is like your soulmate and the person you know it will be with you forever but uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that he or she will be okay so i'm gonna read you part two tomorrow because it's a little longer and again i don't like to read too much and uh, uh now i'm gonna read you a quote that i have for you tonight and uh, the quote uh, that i have for you is actually from uh, the back of master plan your success this is the book that i wrote for my uh, kids specifically for my wife for my friends and of course for you i hope you can learn something uh, from this book and hopefully it's going to help you have a better life and uh, the quote that i have for you tonight reads 
Information and action combined are indestructible. So let me know what you think about the quote. If you agree, if you disagree, if you think there should be variations, what's your version of that quote? And that's all that I got for you tonight. Thank you so much for watching. I just want to say that I want to thank uh, R. W. Martin. He is an actor who played uh, this police officer yesterday in Brownsville, Vermont, where we shot. We're still shooting the street photographer. We had a great day of shooting, and I. He was amazing as an actor and also as an assistant director. He was helping me and my wife Kelsey fixing a few things we we actually messed messed it up with continuity so thank you rw you are the best and i hope to work with you again in the future and many other projects i know you rw randy for almost 10 years now and it's always been a, a pleasure you are super funny funny <laughs> you're such a funny man and we all loved you he's really also very charismatic so if you need an actor Contact him, uh, RW Martin. Send me a message, I'll give you his information. And uh, subscribe to this channel if you want to learn how to lead a successful life. If you want to learn more about photography, filmmaking, acting, audio. And uh, very important if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. And I will do my best to answer them as soon as possible. Typically, the very next day, unless I need to research my answer, in which case, I'll take me a a little longer but i promise you i will reply to you as soon as i can again thank you so much for watching i wish you an excellent night and a wonderful week and i will see you tomorrow night 